welcome back everybody it is brave from brave to gaming and i have decided to return to legend of zelda breath of the wild and just look at me i'm just so macho ah. <laughs> all right so I, it's been a while and i missed this game and i don't remember what i was doing so we're gonna go figure it out yeah, let's go figure it out. Let's go! <sighs> Man, it's been forever since I've played this game. I've missed it so much. Oh, do I have an objective already? Oh. Oh, I guess I was heading for the Gerudo one next. Not Gerudo. The Goron one next. Hmm. Do I have, do I have a potion? How... how how do you play this game? I've already forgotten. I don't have a potion. But I do have fireproof lizards. So... You know what I think? Fuck it. Let's just go straight to the capital. Let's just, let's just go straight to the capital and I'll buy the armor and hopefully not die by then. Yeah. It's a great plan. <laughs> what could go wrong? And instantly, I'm on fire. Great. It's a bit toasty. It's a bit warm. It's very warm, but I have 52 apples, so it's fine. Oh no, my infinite supply of apples is running out. And I've only gotten halfway there. Oh no. No! Mmm, fuck. I pressed the button, it didn't listen. Alright, stables usually have cooking pots. Perfect. Cause I need potions! I tried just to tough it and that didn't work. So like, fuck me? Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so charming, it's really hard to be mad at it. Lots of cooking! Welcome to the cooking show, Cooking with Link. You put a bunch of random ingredients in there and the little sweeping bitch judges you forever. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck you, ma'am. I am a master chef. You ever heard of Gordon Ramsay? Yeah, that, that boy was my apprentice. You feel old yet? Good. I also can't get over that. It's just like you can really see his pecs. And I guess kind of his abs. And he's just like, la -di -da, let me cook. I got to mind my cooking. <laughs> yes. Oh, hmm. How nicely it's coming together. Oh, nice. I made milk. I made milk. I invented milk. All hail me. Surely I'm good for the Badlands. I mean, come on. Surely I'm ready. Go go ahead and drink my potion. My invisible ass fucking potion. This link isn't on fire. Thank you, thank you. That is, this link is not on fire. Coming out on my totally on fire mixtape. When you buy the mixtape, we will set your door frame on fire. Just, just the door frame. If you can put it out, great, but if you can't, well, I hope you didn't like that door frame, because I sure as shit did not. <laughs> Link, did I tell you to get on the motherfucking post? No, I didn't. So why the fuck did you do it? Ah yes, the jewels capital. I fucking love this place! Fucking covered in stuff. You you short on money? Money? Just come straight here. Your your troubles will be long gone. Trust me. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're so tea. Oh, you're so cute. <gasps> no, they can. That is precious. Ooh, a current. You know me. Gotta stay current. <laughs> I hate myself. Like, really and truly, I hate myself. 
for that joke and that joke alone. <laughs> Did you try to come after me? <laughs> Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. I get it. You're pissed off. Because I'm stronger than you. Why can't we be friends? I can be friends with a ghost. <laughs> those are two. Those, those, those friendships are real. They, people might not believe you that the ghost exists, but you know. <laughs> needs their opinion anyways, right? Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. My potion. My potion ran out. Oh no. It's okay. Don't worry. I have another. You do it. Ooh, it's a mad boy. Ooh, it's a mad boy. He's a boy and he's mad. He's red hot. <laughs> I fucking hate myself so much. Ooh. You know, out of all of their designs, I don't. I think I don't like this one the most. I think everybody else looks fine. I think this one's the one where I'm just kind of like, eh. I mean, yeah, it goes with the theme. He matches. He matches the other boys, but not great. Yeah, not great. Oh, hello, friend. Hi, friend. Well, well, look. Yeah, Master Link. What do you mean? More importantly, I hope we made past all those magma bombs without injury. To be honest, we haven't had too many visitors since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to greet the long-lost Hylian champion. Heh. <laughs> oh, in case you didn't know, Link is a little Hylian who fought alongside the Goron champion Daruk. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. Oh, so he doesn't actually know that I'm... Gotcha. Alright, where's the... Sp yeah, clothing store. Fuck yeah. Give me your things. Shit, I'm broke. Would you like some eggs? Alright, surely that's enough to buy the outfit. The helmet's gonna be the most expensive. Just watch. Ah. Son of a bitch! Okay. <laughs> I look so fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this looks like the boss. Just because he looks like a boss. Drat. That blasted Daruna! What's wrong? With Daruna running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have got real bad. Do you see Daruna stomping around over there on the mountain? They say that a hundred years ago, it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then, and this is now! Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we use that cannon to fiend, chase off that fiend, but it always comes back. Ah, I'm a pirate. <laughs> you okay? Huh, it's just back pain. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> no, I'm a traveler. I see. So you come all this way to pay your respects to me? I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silence child cry either way. Yes, it is known that I it is none other than I, Bluto. I was planning to drive off to Rudo. Rudan. Rudan, Rudan, you like I always do. But this blasted paying me back. Be flaring out of nowhere. Blasted, you 
Yonobo. When will he return? Who's Yonobo? Yonobo is a young Goron who helps me drive off Raduna. He went to grab some painkillers from my back, me back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Hmm, slacker. I bet he's off something wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see your Bono, will you let him know I'm looking for him? Ugh. Oh, that's a little seat. Probably for one of the little munchkin kids. That's so cute. Fuck your pots. Are you Yonobe? You're not. Quit talking to me, I don't care. You're not Yonobo. Unibo? Like unibrow? Like the same like rhythm as uh unibrow? But Yonob Yonobo? Yon Yonobo? Unibo? Does Unibo have a unibrow? That'd be really funny, actually. I wonder what I should do. I wonder if I could just... Great! Alright, dude, give me your onion rings. Out of everything I remember from my series, I remember that. <laughs> Though honestly, I kind of say it in my personal playthrough now. I'm not sorry. I'm not even the beginning of sorry. Okay, so yeah. Two pieces. <laughs> you just look so stupid. Just, I just put the glow in the dark cap. I say. Hey, stop that! That's Bloss's can! Don't you dare touch that lever! What do you want? Hey, you don't mess with Bloss's cannon. You don't want to send a cannonball flying, so don't even think about putting an explosive inside. No. Where's Yonobo? Why is a stranger like you asking about Yonobo? <coughs> huh? Boss does? Well, then I guess I better tell you where Yonobo is. He's over there. <laughs> Yonobo went to the vault to wet, fetch some painkillers. But now that you mention it, I suppose he never came back. <laughs> it looks so stupid. <laughs> this place is probably dangerous. So you probably shouldn't be looking for him. So, you need anything else? Ah. Nope. You're kind of annoying. So no. I'm good. Yep. Fucking A! That was a good shot! Like, I can't even be mad about that. <laughs> I was just giving him the runaround. Don't mind about me. What the fuck?! You just shot me through your own partner. How the fuck did you do that? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Good. Man, I fucking love these cannons. So much. They're so good to me. They're gonna get turned against me, aren't they? What the fuck? Oh no. Baby boy is stuck. Mommy instincts coming in. <laughs> Don't worry, mama. Mama Link is coming. <laughs> Moving target type situation. Uber. There we go. That is how it's done, son. Aww. The power of D&D is on his side. He's great. I love him. Oh no, Goro. Oh man, oh man, oh man. What am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! Oh. They found me! Help! Huh? Oh, <laughs> he's the best! He's so cute! Lord help me, this child, this poor cinnamon roll child. Oh, <sighs> it's okay, buddy. Can I 
I'm just, I'm just gonna steal from you guys. That's all. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. Uh, the, 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 the ancestors wanted me to have this. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Hmm. Oh. Now that I found a good look. Whoa! An alien! Were you the one who broke that, that crag to rescue Meguro? Oh, thanks, brother! But what brought you all the way out here to begin with? I'm looking for Yabono! Oh! Oh, oh that's, that's it! Boss told you to come find me! Oh, thanks goodness! In any case, I'm sure glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yonobo. Everyone calls me, uh, Yonobo. That makes sense, Goro. I came to get some painkillers for boss, but a magna bomb caused a rock slide, sealing the entrance, Goro. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance? Huh? With a cannon. Huh? You used boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use, I thought only boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot this is the time to chat. I need to live those painkillers as soon as possible. Oh. Sorry, I, I, I gotta run. But do come by and see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure he, here's a, there's a reward for you. Okay then, uh, goodbye for now, Goro. <laughs> We're just ignoring the little rupee that's just sitting on the ground. Oh, He's so sweet. He's a soft boy. He's a soft boy in a cruel, cruel, fiery world, and uh, he deserves better. Yeah, well, guess what? Guess fucking what? I got a shrine. I'm not doing that again. Fuck no. I'm gonna fast travel. Fuck you. My mama told me to eat my veggies. I said no, no, no. Fuck no. And then she bit my ass. Damn it, I missed. Can, can I try again? Nah, it's not wasting time. Ah! Wait, no, how? Ah, oh, fuck, what was his voice? Ah, the tiny traveler. Yonobo told me about how you helped him, brother. Brother, here's the reward for you. Helian, like you need this sort of thing, right? Yes! <laughs> Holy fuck, yes. Okay, then. Well, I took my painkiller, so I guess the time to meet with Ronobo. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not here to, gi to give that Radun Rad Radonia a good walloping. Radunia? Are you really telling telling me you don't know Daruk, the Goron champion? There's his voice. See that statue up the air? Ask Daruk. Aye, what a fine booty he had. And all the women he could want because of his booty. Or rather, oh goodness, I, 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 I see where you might be confused. He had a great amount of treasure. I remember, I remember his treasure. I remember his booty. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the day that lost that hey, Link lost his booty. Congrats on this. <gasps> oh god. It's like May woke waking up. What be getting into? Highly in sure are strange. Anyway, Yorobo's actually descendant of the great Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when he fire at Radonia. It's the only way we we chase that blasted beast away. We have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. All right, that's enough out of me. All right, time to go drive off for Donya. Ah, are you sure you're okay? Oh yeah, just peachy, dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. You know I'm right here, bitch. I'll kick you in the ass, see if that helps your back pain. I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yonobo I'm not gonna have to cancel it today? Alright, so I know this next little part is actually really long, and I've been recording for a while, so we're just gonna leave that for the next time. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and maybe tell me about something you did stupid enough to injure your back. 
uh, I actually um, used to be on a Quidditch team, and uh, that involves tackling, and I tackled somebody wrong and threw my spine out of, out of whack a little bit, so my back and my hips hurt, and it hurt to walk. It was a nightmare. But yeah, tell me about yours. I'll see you guys then. Brave out. Thank you.